Hey guys, how are you? Just giving you a, uh, a quick recipe uh, for corn muffins. You make corn anything. Beautiful, beautiful cornbread. I do. I like to make muffins. I'm going to show you some a very easy recipe that you can use. Everybody will love. Okay. So you have two separate components. You have your dry, and you have your wet. Always do those separately. So in here I have eight eggs, I have three cups of milk, and I have three cups of oil. How difficult is that? And you mix, okay? So this is your, your, your wet mixture. Okay, I have these in a, in a good sized pot. I'm gonna, the, 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 this recipe makes about six dozen. Uh, yeah, six dozen. Now in this pot, you actually see the layers. I have four cups of cornmeal. I have uh, seven cups of flour, all-purpose or self-rising, and five cups of sugar, all right, and I have some uh, spice in there. Spice I'm using is a, uh, which people enjoy, is a pumpkin spice. You can also throw a little bit of, of uh, 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 cayenne in there, just a little bit. To add a little pizzazz and this here you're going to mix with a spoon uh, also in this what I have is I have baking powder okay I have six heaping tablespoons of baking powder okay so this is your dry don't forget the baking powder guys okay six heaping teaspoons. There's a teaspoon, heaping, six, boom, 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 six of them. So again, my wet is eight eggs, okay? I have uh, uh, three cups of uh, milk and I have uh, three cups of oil. You can add, use butter or oil, you know? And in my dries, and I mix those all up, in my dries, I have, you see the layers, I haven't mixed this yet, is uh, four cornmeal, okay? I use this cornmeal, it's beautiful. I use uh, five cups of sugar, and I use seven cups of flour, all purpose, or self-rising, whatever you'd like to do. And I use a little bit of spice, Okay, I have a pumpkin spice in here, and also six heaping teaspoons of baking powder. Now I'm going to mix all, the, mix the dry thoroughly, and it mixes pretty quickly. Okay, and then what I'm going to do after, after I mix this and it's all thoroughly mixed, it takes a few minutes. I'm not going to waste your time. Mix all this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate the dry into the wet while I'm mixing. So with the hand that I have my camera on, I'm going to be pushing this into the thing slowly, slowly mixing it in, because it's easier when you do it slowly. You don't want to just dump the whole thing in. And near the end, you can just finish it off when you have a, a couple of cups of uh, dry material left. And then beat it. You, you want to beat it for about 30, 30 seconds. And you can count after everything is incorporated, you, you, you got to beat it. You don't want to overbeat it. Good 30 seconds. Just so everything is mixed together, and there's no dry pieces in there. And uh, the reason why I do the wet, the dry, on top of the wet is because if you put the wet into here, you'll never get the stuff on the bottom. Okay. So always separate your wet from your dry. Mix and then mix and then incorporate into your thing. And then from there, you can use an ice cream scoop into your muffin pans. You want to spray your muffin pans down. Uh, if you're having a hard time, I use this stuff. This stuff's great. Sprees, right? If you ever have sticky buns, no more. Okay? And um, boom, done. Uh, the, the oven, you're going to do at 380 degrees. And you're going to, uh, it's going to be about 12 minutes. Okay? 380 degrees, 12 minutes. There's your recipe, guys. All right. So if you like corn muffins, 
I do thousands of them a, a month, and people love them. And uh, thumbs up. Okay, guys, take care.